Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. Hello, barbecue friends. Today, we're gonna be cooking up some beef short ribs. We're gonna be firing up the Louisiana Grills Kamado here. Cook them on there. We'll take this cook step by step. I'll show you what I'm doing. These are gonna be delicious. Okay, I just got some hardwood lump charcoal in there. I'm gonna put my starter cube in here. Light that up. Gotta put a few pieces around there, get them started. Okay, while well, we got this lit, let's get our meat ready. Okay, here's our beef short ribs here. Got this nice rack of ribs here. We're gonna keep this real simple. I'm gonna get some Worcestershire sauce. Coat that nice. The butcher has already scorned the membrane on here, so all those juices go in. Got this at my local butchers, Medell's Brothers Quality Meats. Look at that, just a beauty. Okay, I got kosher salt here. We're just gonna do salt and pepper on this today. The 16 mesh black pepper. We're gonna give a generous amount on there. As I learned from my last brisket cook, you can't put too much pepper. There we go. Okay, now we'll get our temperatures here to level out. You can see while we were doing that, we have a really nice heat source going there. So let's start setting up our grills. Okay, gonna start off with our ceramic deflector. Okay, next we'll put our bottom grill in. I'm gonna use the upper grill today. I'm gonna get that meat right up a little bit higher. I'm gonna set up a water tray under here. It's gonna help just maintain some humidity, a little more thermal mass in there. Okay, I'm gonna close the lid here. I'm gonna close my bottom vent. I'm gonna leave it about two holes there at the bottom. My upper vent I'm gonna open to about one. Now we'll wait for this whole thing to come up to temperature, then we'll get our meat on. So the Kamado is pretty good barbecue for a day like today where it's kind of rainy off and on. Everything's sealed. It's gonna maintain temperature nicely. It's been about 15 minutes since I adjusted my vents. We're reaching a temperature of about 200 here. Now when I put my meat on, it's gonna be pretty close to this temperature probe, so it's gonna kind of play with that a little bit. Okay, let's put our meat on. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna do this membrane side down. I'm gonna put a temperature probe in here. Try to find the thickest part of the meat, but not too close to the bone. Something like that. So we got our temperature probe in there. We're gonna monitor the interior temperature of this meat. Let's close the lid. We'll check back periodically throughout the day. I'll let you know what I'm up to. We'll take this step by step. And of course, I'll fill you in on what I'm doing. Well, the ribs have been on now for one hour. I got a dome temperature still around 200. The interior temperature of our meat is 86. Let's open it up, check it out. 
Okay. Not much has happened. It's only been one hour. You can still see it's nice and moist on top. That meat's just sweating out. Okay, let's close the lid. Okay, at this point we're not going to do anything. We'll let it go for another hour. So we'll see you in another hour. Okay, the meat's been on now for two hours. We got a dome temperature of almost 250. We got an interior temperature of the meat of 129. We're probably not going to do too much at this point, but let's open it up and take a look. All right, it's starting to get some nice smell coming off of here. Looking really good. The outside of it is still kind of sweating there. So I don't think we're going to need any spritz just yet. So let's close this up. Okay, at this stage we're not going to do much. I may just cut this back just a little bit. I don't want our temperature just taking off on us. So again, we'll check back in another hour. All right, time to check back. We're now at the three hour mark. Now the sun's shining. We still have a dome temperature around 250. Interior temperature of our meat is 147. Let's open it up. All right, this is looking good. All right, I think just at this point, since I have it open, might give it a bit of a spritz. All right, let's close our lid up. Again, we'll check back every hour. I'll keep you updated and we'll see you then. We're at the four hour mark. We got a, still got a dome temperature of 250 here. We got an interior temperature of 153. Let's open it up and take a look. Oh, ho, ho, this is coming along nicely here. All right, we'll give it another spritz. We're not going to do much at this point, just another spritz and close it back up. Close her up. See you back in another hour. Okay, we're at the five hour mark now. We got a dome temperature just under 250. Our interior temperature is 154. I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bump this damper up just past one a little bit and open my bottom to three sets of holes. Just to try to get more airflow, a little more temperature. We'll open it up, we'll give it a quick spritz. Starting to smell fantastic here. Okay, we'll close the lid. We'll come back in another hour and see if our temperatures come up a little bit. Okay, these ribs have now been on for six hours. I got a dome temperature just over 250. I got an interior temperature 154. So our temperature is coming up a little bit, but I'd like to see it come up a little more. Show you where I'm at here. Let's open this to about one and a half. Bottom, I got open to now four sets of holes. All right, we are rendering down here a little bit. There's a little bit of bone here coming through. Let's give this a spritz. All right, we'll close this back down. Okay, we'll check back in another hour. We are seven hours in now. So a little while ago, I noticed I'm still losing temperature. I'm 149 in the meat. I was losing dome temperature. So I removed everything and I added more charcoal. So right now, I'm at 275 and 149 meat temperature. I'm going to periodically check back on this, spritz it, 
I'm trying to bring it up to about 200 degrees interior. Once I reach that temperature, I'll share with you what I did to get there. We'll pull the meat off and we'll get ready for the taste test. Okay, these ribs are now done. It's been over nine hours. I had the little hiccup where I had to add some charcoal. So I guess the rule of thumb is to put more than what you need. But this is done. I'll bring you in and have a look. The last two hours I ran a dome temperature of around 400 degrees. My final meat temperature was 198 degrees. Okay, let's slide this off. Put it on the board there. We're going to cover this up a little, let it rest. And we'll come back. So overall this was a great cook. The Kamado is great for just holding its temperature and we did do that for a while. But I did realize halfway through the cook I should have put more charcoal in. But that's why I do these videos. You can learn from my mistakes. Well, we recovered. For every misstep, there's a way to recover. And at the end, we're going to have a great product here. So let's slice into this, see what we got. Time for the taste test. Look at that. Beautiful. Here we are here, look at that. Mmm. Okay, with the simple salt and pepper on here, the beef meat flavor really comes through. I really like that. Mmm. If you've never tried beef ribs, it's such a delicious meat. The Kamado does a great job of putting just enough smoke into the meat. Well, all in all, we got a great product in the end. Well, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate you smash that like button. And of course, to see more of these cooks, click that subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Barbecue with Greg. Thanks for watching Barbecue with Greg, one of those barbecue cooking shows people watch on YouTube sometimes.